Hi everyone, this is Aaron, and today we're going to do a simple browser comparison between the iPad and the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Now, just so you know for this comparison, we're going to be using Wi-Fi, and the reason is the Galaxy Tab does have a 3G connection via Verizon, but the iPad does not. This is the Wi-Fi only model. So, um, to compare the two, I'm just going to turn them on. All tasks have been closed, and we're just going to do a simple browser test. So. If I double tap the button here, you can see all applications are closed. We're running uh, version 4.2.1, I believe, on the iPad. On the Galaxy tab, we're running Froyo or Android 2.2. So let's go ahead and open the browser. And we'll X that out. And we'll X this out. Now it loaded Verizon, that's fine. So uh, let's go ahead and test out my site here. And for some reason it's already in there, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and go to Zolo Tech, and we can use swipe on this one. And it picked that up. Dot com. So there we go. So what we're going to do is load. Now keep in mind the Galaxy Tab actually has uh, flash built in, so it may take a little bit longer. I don't know. Let's go ahead and see what we get here. On the count of three, one, two, three. And let's see who wins. So as far as loading the page, they're both kind of slow. There we go. It's picking up. The Galaxy Tab uh, bar-wise looks like it's finishing. So the Galaxy Tab is finished, sort of. Uh, but now it's loading the Flash content within, which is kind of neat. Um, looks like the iPad has finished. And we can scroll. However, because this is Flash-based con content that actually will play a QuickTime video when you tap it here, the way I have it set up, uh, you don't see it on an iPad, where you do see the content on the Galaxy Tab. And it's a little bit choppy because of that, I think, because of the the um, flash taking up memory and, and processor cycles, possibly. But uh, you do have the ability to play these right in the browser, which is really cool. I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed that this seems to have beat it as far as the initial load time. Uh, it's give or take, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, I thought the iPad would win for sure, but I'm, I'm not sure. Let's uh, let's try a refresh and see what we get here. Let's turn this on. On one, two, three. Let's see what we get when we reload it. Yeah, the Galaxy Tab is fast. It's really impressive how quick that really is. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um, and then again, you can see the flash content load. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, I guess some non-flash websites, you know, we could we could try, but I I really wanted to use my own as far as what we could see. Now let me just show you a quick pinch comparison, I guess. Yeah, we'll wait for this to load. Um, pinch to zoom, real fluid on an iPad if you've ever used one. The Galaxy Tab, uh, you're gonna get. You can see the the video contents. It's because it's loading isn't zooming properly, but speed wise, it's about the same. Maybe not quite as fluid all the time, but I think it's sufficient for most people. Um, but there is a difference for sure between the two. Uh, there isn't really much more to go into. I really just wanted to do a very quick comparison between the speed of the browsers, and you can see scrolling looks a little bit more smooth. Again, we're not running flash content on the Zolotech website. Uh, on the iPad side. So I think for this running Flash, uh, that's pretty impressive. Let's, uh, I guess, uh, take any questions you might have for me or any other quick comparisons you might want to see. I didn't want to take up too much time for something so simple. So uh, again, comment and let me know what you think. If there's any other comparisons you want to see between these two devices, please let me know. This is Aaron. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you next time.